guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a foundation review of the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I have been so excited to try these. They came out in Canada a few weeks after they did in the US, so when I finally found out they were in, I went to Walmart, I saw they were fully stocked, I got some shades, and I ran. <laughs> I have to because well, we'll get into that when I start my demo, but one of the biggest struggles I had with this foundation was finding my perfect match. There's 12 different shades to choose from, but another thing was uh, they're all really yellow based, so just keep that in mind if you're going in to buy one. And uh, yeah, I liked the foundation, but I feel like I'm just such a lover of the Pro Matte. So this was a little bit of a change and it took me a little bit of time to warm up to it, but I found a way that I like to use it. So I'm gonna show you that near the end as well. But let's just talk a little bit about the foundation itself before I keep this going. It's supposed to give you a radiant finish, 100%. Everything about this foundation screams radiant like my skin looks so healthy and that I just love that part about it it's supposed to wear up to 24 hours I never wear my foundation for 24 hours but it does wear really well throughout the day it's supposed to give you a medium coverage absolutely this is not a full coverage foundation by any means but I will agree with medium and it's supposed to be an air light texture Yes, so this is really similar to the Pro Matte, and that's another thing that I love about that foundation is it's really lightweight on the skin, you can't even notice it, and it's just really comfortable to wear. So I feel like I have mentioned everything I needed to before we start the demo. Oh, price. At Walmart, I bought this for $17 each, $16.97 if we're getting specific. So that is how much it costs. I think we should get into the demo now because I want to show you how it applies. Okay, so the shades that I own are 204, which is natural buff, and 205, which is natural beige. After wearing it for a little while now and seeing it in the camera, I'm pretty confident that 204 is my proper shade. I bought two because I was unsure, but the 205 is just so yellow and I feel like it's just a tad bit too dark. And these foundations do oxidize, so that's why I go with the 204 because after like a few minutes it does warm up to my skin tone or at least close enough because this one just turns out to be the 205 is just way too dark. So I'm going to do the 204 and I'll let you guys be the judge. I like to use a damp beauty blender and I make sure it's not super wet. Like this has been sitting out for a little while and it's super hot out so it's it's not like dripping wet because if it's too wet it will shear out the foundation too much. I know it is super super light. Here is half my face. Try not to be distracted by the color of it. I promise you it's going to start to warm up. Let's just talk a little bit about the foundation. It smoothed out my skin, evened out my skin tone, it looks really natural, um, skin light because you can see like my freckles right here showing through and you can still see a little bit of the blemishes on my chin. You can do a little bit more um, coverage. I like to do a little bit on the cheeks and a little bit more on the chin, but anything after two layers, you just have foundation that's rolling around. It doesn't set nice, and uh, I tried three layers just to see if I could do it, and it just looked uh, cakey. So I know there's probably some of you that are thinking maybe the 205 could have been my perfect match, but I want to show you because I didn't believe it either. I was like, there's no way I can wear a foundation that's this light on me, but then I tried the 205. I've even tried mixing them together, and I feel like it's just, it's okay, but uh, I want to show you what 205 looks like. So instantly you can see it looks uh, really yellow, and I just think it looks too dark on the skin, and especially because it does oxidize, this is going to go a shade darker, and I just feel funny in this one. So I'm going to wipe this off because I just don't want to throw off my face, and I'm going to apply the 204 all over. All right, so here it is. I know the color still looks off, but I promise you it's gonna warm up. I think the skin looks super hydrated, smooth, healthy and plump looking. And the only thing now is to set it. This absolutely needs to be set because if it doesn't, it'll just like roll off. Right now it feels really wet. It's completely different than the Pro Matte because that one turned to like a powder finish in seconds. I'm going to do a little bit of concealer and then I'll go in and lightly set it. Hello, sunshine. That's what my mirror says. Excuse that ridiculously loud noise outside, but to set this, lightly set this, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is one that I just love to use on the regular. I'm just going to dab that under the, underneath the eyes. And with this foundation, you have to really set around the nose because that's where it tends to crease the most and just move a lot. 
so I try to pack the powder in there. You can tell now that it's starting to look pretty shiny on the face, so I know that this is supposed to be a glowy finish foundation and to keep with that I just lightly tap the powder all over the face but not too much to take away the glow because that's defeating the purpose. It's a controlled glow. Here's what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on now. I feel like the color blends in a little bit better. Would you agree with me? Overall, I think my skin looks lovely. It just looks so healthy and smooth and I haven't used any powder since you last saw me apply it so all of this dew that you're seeing that is because of the foundation so I think that's really nice that the product actually does what it says it's supposed to. As I'm wearing it throughout the day I do have to touch it up because right now it's like that controlled glow that I talked about earlier but give it like two hours and I start to look pretty I'm gonna say it greasy so I just take my compact with me tap it in I do also notice that on me it tends to get a little bit cakey on the nose and on the chin like it kind of pills so I just kind of have to go and tap that back in now let's talk about something I really don't like about this foundation I think it's like the biggest thing for me that throws it off you saw me apply it to my cheeks you saw me do two layers it still doesn't build up to a full coverage so you can still see my freckles underneath so when I go and put on a bronzer or or a blush on top it tends to look patchy blotchy and there's no helping that unless I go in and use a concealer which I can totally do but I feel like that defeats the purpose so for like that really flawless face I can't really get that with this foundation I want to talk about what I do like to do because I think it's a pretty flawless technique I will use majority of the pro matte and do like a drop or two of the pro glow and then you get the full coverage matte look and then a little bit of the the nice radiance from this and it's like beautiful that's what I've been doing a lot lately and I feel like these two are amazing together so it's not to say I hate the pro glow I just don't like to wear it on its own I feel like I covered everything I wanted to I think it's pretty obvious I would recommend this to somebody with dry skin or if you're like me and you have normal combo skin I would only recommend it to you if you obviously want to see a glow and if you have I don't want to say flawless skin because nobody has flawless skin but if you're not worried about any pigmentation or like trying to cover up acne scars this would be beautiful on you thank you so much for watching if you guys like this review you know what to do go ahead and give the video a thumbs up to let me know be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you guys have tried this foundation i want to hear what you guys think of it so leave me that in the comments so i can check those out hope you guys are having an awesome summer and i will see you in the next video bye